So there were some uh, innovations about putting corrugations in there and what they found out is they could actually corrugate the plate and use less material, much like you would do in a, uh, a corrugated uh, box, a cardboard box. If you look carefully, you have two laminated plates and inside you have a corrugation. That's the strength. The problem is with the corrugated plate, which we have here, CPI, you uh, have a problem in that you've got areas for solids to start to foul. With a flat plate design, you have no nooks and crannies for, for fouling. Here, as your wastewater flows through and solids start to drift down, they'll drift into the trough. Problem with the trough is now you're not spreading your flow out evenly with a flat plate design. You're concentrating your solids to a single line in each of the troughs here, in this valley, so that as you have your, pla your plate stacked, you find that the fouling will occur right here quickly. Though the rest of the plate pack is clean and clear, you're fouled in this area. When that happens, you end up with a higher velocity throughout the rest of the pack. As soon as that happens, your efficiency drops and it's time to clean and maintain the pack. Um, we see a lot of the corrugated plates out in the industry. They're not terrible to clean, but they do foul uh, more readily than the old uh, standby time-honored flat plate design.